This is Anthony coming to you live from the solar shed right now. Just want to give you an update as to what I'm working on right now. Well, I've installed the new inverter on the board. I'm still doing some wiring right now. And um, this is my circuit breaker, breaker. <laughs> my main circuit breaker, which will, of course, um, control the power in my shed. And um, it will turn off the, the power going to my um, sockets as well as to my light and as also i do plan to run um a wire into my house as well so yes things are going well i'm doing some new wiring here and there so um things are going pretty good in my shed right now and also by way of update on my mower well i just sold my snapper sr 1433 about maybe 50 minutes ago the guy came late in the night and got it and then um, I was very surprised when he called and said he was on his way and um, the guy drove surprisingly 45 minutes to my house to get this more so as of right now the SR 1433 has been sold so um, so the, I'm making progress I still have my little baby snapper right here which is a 1981 snapper more which I do plan to keep I'm not going to sell this more at all so the big daddy is gone guys and um, now I, I can um, put a little bench in my shed, a little work desk so I can do some electrical work and um, I can create some space in it. So yes, I do love my snapper mowers and later on when I get a bigger shed or when I get more space I'll see about, you know, maybe getting one more snapper mower but for right now I just got in a, a real bind where I really needed space in my shed, I didn't have any space. I could hardly get in the door because the SR 1433 was blocking the doorway as you saw in a previous video so it has been sold um, I I did um, give the buyer a prep talk even though I sold it to him I told him not to cut his grass whenever it's wet and I also told him not to leave that snapper outdoors I told him that he must keep it in a shed or in a garage and that he should take very good care of it so I did give him a prep talk so hopefully he will listen to me and do as I told him because I you know before I put my mowers outside um, to get damaged in the rain and get all rusty looking I would much rather sell it to a person who really likes it and who is going to take care of it and put it in their garage or in their shed I don't believe in abusing a mower I don't believe in leaving a mower out in the weather um, like that. My father taught me that when I was very young to always take care of my tools. So that's one thing I'm big on, taking care of my tools. So if I don't have enough space to keep all my tools in one place, then I would rather sell it to a person who is going to take care of it you know, as, as much as I have taken care of it. So guys, that's an update from my shed right now. And as I, as I said, I'm still doing some work in my shed right now, electrical work um, with my new inverter. So I'll give you an update this week when it's all done. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, guys. Bye now.